Don't forget to smash that like button. Subscribe to the channel. And remember guys, this is for adults. Guys, don't forget to check me out on Instagram, Twitter, Pinterest. Find all the photos that you want of these videos. What's up, you guys? It's Zach Jack Dan back with another Every He Man video. This time we're talking about every Netflix He Man and the Masters of the Universe animated show action figure so first thing let's just talk about the power attack he-man figure here it does come with a giant sword here got more of the black color on his costume there you do see the image there of the kind of sword in his chest for this design here's the package as well here you can see the back of the package and the back of the figure the back of the pack is showing the action features that this figure has. And a couple other figures in this first wave with Skeletor and Man-at-Arms. Here we have our Power Attack Man-at-Arms figure. Got that massive mace that he has that he comes with. Here's the back of his package. As again, you can see the attack feature there. And again, this time you see the other two figures in Wave 1 with He-Man and Skeletor. Here's our Skeletor figure. He does have his staff. Got that bone hand there on his left hand. Like his arm has gotten eat up just like his face. The back of Skeletor's package with his action feature there. And again, you can see the back with the Wave 1 He-Man and Man at Arms. We do have a Chaos Snake Attack playset. So that's interesting. I guess it's kind of like a Snake Mountain. It looks like it's actually like coming out of Skeletor's Throne. So you can kind of see the package from the side. And up close. We also have a Power Attack Trap Jaw figure here. You can see Trap Jaw from a different angle with the blast feature there out of his claw. You can see he's got some action as well in the back of his package. And this one actually showing Wave 1 again with just He-Man and Skeletor, so no Man at Arms in the back of here. So you can see that projectile does come out of his claw. So there's those four figures. And then we do have a He-Man with his Ground Ripper. Like a little motorcycle with a yellow sword as well. And this time his costume is more of a brown costume with the orange bracelets on. Here's the back of that package showing you your He-Man with his action feature. The sword can stick to the side of the bike there. And at the bottom you can see Skeletor's bike. Then he gets Skeletor on his ride. Again with the staff. And again with the bone arm. So I'm not sure what the story is going to be about that. Back of that package showing Skeletor's staff can actually fit in the back of the bike there. Showing Skeletor's got some action features as well. And bottom right showing He-Man's bike. Then we got some more large scale figures here. Here's your battle armor He-Man. Also with the power attack. And this time it's got more of a... Uh, look at that. You can actually put armor on him. So that's interesting. But he's got more of a brown costume as well. With a red this time. Here is your He-Man. In that same large scale figure. Your man at arms. And your Skeletor. So they do have many, many types of figures that you can choose from from this line, it looks like. So that's all the figures and 
that you're going to have so far that we've seen, but there are more to come because of PowerCon 2021. They gave us another rendering here. Here's a Battle Armor Skeletor with a power attack that's a large scale. He's got more of a green look to him, armor that can put on him. His Man at Arms and his Sky Sled. In package. The back of the package showing his action features. Off the bike. And on the bike package from the side. Not very clear, but it is a, another shot of a few more characters. You do see Orko down there. Uh, Ram Ma'am down in the bottom left corner. So it's a female Ram Ma'am. You see Evil in, and then you do see another bike down there, and I think that that is um, Man at Arms in a different color armor. So here is a little closer shot of that same picture here with the Evil in on the right. You got your Trap Jaw and Skeletor as well as villains. You got your He Man and Man at Arms there. And then you got your Orc. O and your Ram Ma'am. So very interesting. A little closer look at the heroes and the villains. So here's what Ram Ma'am or Crass K R A S S will look like. So it's got that bright pink head. Got the springs on her shoes, I guess too. Then we have our evil in in the show right here. Got that long hair and those strange looking wings on her head. And then we have Orc O, more like an electronic version of Orc O. So here is a new figure reveal here with the power of Grayskull He Man figure with the yellow look to him, gray outfit. Very interesting looking. You can see his sword can attach to his back. There's a close up of that face. Not sure what this is going to be all about. Here's the evil end we talked about earlier. Here's her staff. Got those big old bat ear things on her on her hat there. Kind of the skirt thing hanging off. There's the back of the figure. You see the long white hair. And a close-up of that head sculpt there. Here we have Orko, and they're spelling his name correctly here, but I thought his name was Orc O, as if he was digital. Interesting. He's got that flight stand. Also a blast effect that'll go on his arm. And he's winking at you. And then you have your trap jaw with his vehicle here. No packet, no images of this package yet, so I'm not sure what the vehicle is called either. But there is that trap jaw we saw earlier. Kind of some blurry images, but sorry. There's the front and the back of the vehicle. And then a close up of trap jaw's face. So here is the package from the front for this trap jaw cycle. And from the back, also showing the power attack features for the trap jaw figure himself. So those are some nice four reveals there, but they're also saying that there's listings for a Stratos, Manny Faces, Triclops, Mosquito, and a Sorceress and Vehicle. So we'll see what those look like when they come. So here is Battle Cat. It's got the power attack motion on it as well. You see he's got his armor on, got those giant bright claws on the front. Got the crazy looking tail on the back side. Definitely an interesting looking Battle Cat. Here he is up close. We also have Sorceress. They showed this figure right here off a while back in this image. 
but here's the official images of her in package with her staff, her helmet, got the wing spread, close up of her face. You can see her from the back side and with the helmet on from the back and the front. Got the long hair with the twist at the bottom, white hair down to purple. And so here we are with Beast Man. You can see him here in package and close up of that face with the scars on it, skulls, all that stuff on his chest. You see he comes with like a whip accessory and like a green shield of some sort maybe. And there he is from the back with the fur going all the way around his neck and down his back. And then we have another He-Man here. He has what looks like the armor of King Grayskull on with the blue gloves, gold armor there. Got his sword and a shield, both yellow. There he is from the back. You see the soft goods like cape there. So here we are with many faces. And of course he has many faces there that can swap out in his head. There's the regular face and the robot face. He does have a kind of punching effect there. Has like a soft goods cape on the back side there. There's his monster face. There it is from the back. His cape's kind of shaped like an M for many faces, I guess, maybe. There's all three of the faces together. No packaging images of this yet. So there's the front and the back of the many faces package. And then we have Prince Adam. He comes with his sword, a little skinny little guy. Got kind of a action there in his waist that it shows. And then he can also flip forward, I guess, and hit his sword down. So here we go with Ram Mam. That's Mam, as in female. Got these boosters on the back of the legs there, springs in the legs, I guess, too. Big old helmet on the head as well that can come off. You got jet boosters on the back of the head as well. There you can see the back of those legs. And we've got some kind of a spring action effect it looks like. There it is in package without the helmet on and you can see the helmet on the side. So here we are with the two pack Battle for Eternia with Skeletor and He-Man. Both have these weird veins going on in them. Skeletor comes with this floating little robot there. You can tell with Skeletor's arm there, it's also green. He's got the green staff. He-Man's got his sword. There's the figures from the back. He-Man's sword can store on the back, that's awesome. There they are in battle. And then we got our deluxe figure here with Trap Jaw. close up of those jaws. From the back you can see his claw there from the front. See he's standing 8.5 inches tall for these deluxe figures. Then we have another deluxe with Stratos standing 8.5 inches tall as well. Wings do come off. Peg right into the arms there. Jumping back to the smaller figures, 5.5 inch, we have the Triclops. Comes with his staff there. Got all kinds of wires coming off his helmet to his arms. And then we got our 5.5 inch Stratos. Got the wings that can go either way. We got a Mosquito. Or mosquita, mosquitra, mosquitra. Got the mask on the face, extra 
effect piece there, which will go over the head as well. And then we've got a Talon fighter vehicle for these 5.5 inch figures. 17 inches long aircraft with wings that fire six projectiles via a push button. So there you go, based off of the animated show. All right, so another box set here with a figure in a vehicle, I guess. This is the Sorcerer's Cosmic Falcon. You can see she actually comes with a falcon there. She comes with an extra set of wings you can put on her back, her helmet, and her staff. There she is where she can actually fly with the uh, falcon. There it is with the wings on the back. Next we have our deluxe version of Skeletor Reborn. It has a hand and a shield that'll go on, kind of translucent. Kind of got that floating head look. There you can see the hands are off with the gloves and the shield off as well. And that shield looks kind of like a skull. There it is in package and up close. Next we have the Grayskull playset. You can see the size of this playset. The door will open and close. He's got a little laser you can sit on and shoot off right there on the left and right. Light up action. So there it is lit up and not lit up. Drawbridge coming up. Drawbang being closed. Light up back up. And there's He-Man standing inside getting powered up. There's all the weapons it comes with as well. Pretty cool looking playset. At SDCC, Mattel did show this off in hand. Then here's what the package is going to look like. So it's got 20 sounds and light and it's 360 degree play. 20 inches tall I guess or wide, I'm not sure 100% there. All right, so finally, official images of the playset here. Got that chain and light up effect lightning bolt up at the top. Got the weapons on the side. There you can see a kid playing with it, drawbridge down. And you can see He-Man gunning the weapon there, launch projectiles to defend the castle, use power sword to open the playset. You can see the power sword up top. And then it features 20 lights and sounds. There's He-Man standing up top. So we had a Mo Tuesday reveal with Cosmic Skeletor. I had no idea what this was going to be actually until I saw Pixel Dan. Check this out from the back there. Got the tail, the wings. Nice black and gold and like a greenish look there. Purple in the wings. This action feature that it has too. Floating head type of look. But yeah, check out the size of this guy. This is Pixel Dan. Comparing it to the other Skeletors in this line. This guy's massive. And there he is in package. Next we have the Merman. Got the little squid little effect there piece. Little hook on his hand. Got the fins on the back of his caps there and his, his uh, forearms. Kind of this goldish, bronzish looking armor on. Got the green or the uh, blue eyes there. You got your Savage Eternia Hordak. Looks like a female to me. Got the bat. I can hook on the back there. You got the He-Man here. 
the tiny little cringer. Big old power sword. Looks on the back there. We have King Hiss. Cool looking snake form there. Here it is in package. Nice little articulated jaw. Snake hands there. He-Man with Stridor. Got the guns on the side. And places to store the power sword there on the side too. And you have Skeletor with Battle Bones. Got this green look to these guys. Looks awesome. Got the Havoc Staff. And then you also have a Savage Eternia Skeletor. The little, tiny little battle bones. Then you have Moss Man. Have not seen Moss Man in package yet though. And then these two are from the Master Burst line. They are more of a 7 inch scale figure compared to the smaller ones. And there they are in package, part of the 40th anniversary of Motu. Got that really bulky wide look to them, massive figures there. And there's all their accessories that they come with. And so here's also some Eternia minis for this Netflix show with the Sorceress, Skeletor, and He-Man. back of the package actually shows not only the Netflix show but the Revelation show there for the Eternia minis. And then we got a little two-pack here with the He-Man and Battle Cat. And there's a little close-up of the Sorceress and Skeletor a little better. And the Skeletor on his bike. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Leave me any kind of comments. Hit that notification bell so you're aware of any new videos that I have. Subscribe to the channel if you're ready. Hit that thumbs up and I'll talk to you guys later. Hey guys, don't forget to check me out on Instagram, Twitter, Pinterest. You can find all the photos that you want of these videos.